Greetings. Again. Greetings. Greetings. Again, we do give thanks and praise always. Complete gratitude for the existence. We say unbridled discipline. Yeah. This is the caption when we go get this to you. Unbridled discipline. But I mean, I tell you, it's a joy when you can live and learn. You have to be keen enough to observe while you exist, while you live in the now. So we say we're unbridled discipline. How we choose to entertain. Yeah, man, because I say you do not choose for discipline yourself. Yeah, man, it only take one second or even less than that to make a decision that will affect your life forever. Yeah, man, it does take less than a second or a millisecond, especially when you are the aggressor. Uh, the moment you have to defend yourself, what may I talk about not really apply. Uh, once you have to defend yourself, then it's just that. Somebody is aggressive. Somebody else is the aggressor. And the, more, the, the only thing where you can do is probably choose to defend yourself. You know, whether you have to run away, whether you have to stand up and fight, or whether you have to just stand your ground. Once a self-defense, it's a whole different matter. Where so the moment you ever be the aggressor, then that change everything. Yeah, man, and it only take a minute, a second, a millisecond. You make a decision where you being the aggressor, it will affect you for the rest of your life. And usually, an experience. You know, can share and teach these things. And this is why we love discipline, man. That's why I'm telling you, you know, me, the day as a little boy and out school and still up on the island, but I gone up my camp. Worse than time of them, I play ball. I love the discipline, man. I love properness, man. I love correctness. And I love untidiness. And I love outer orderness. And I love the wooligan is in and I like them thing. So once a discipline man, we choose for entertain it, practice it, endorse it, and if, when we say we write just you know it after the unbridled discipline. That means that there is no restriction for your discipline. It's like a man come and want to violate you and want to disrespect you and want to go on with all kind of things. And you know you have the power for it. Decimate whatever it is. But you see, because of the discipline, you have to maintain it until it really reaches a point where you have to defend yourself. Because at the only time I will, would encourage my people and for really act. It's only another you know, act you defending yourself. You know, we're not supposed to attack, but we are the aggressor. But we are premeditate people and we are got program people and, and no. This is when you know you're up on the wrong side of the fence, I people. And this is why I know say the devil loose out there. Cause if you're a man like I, the devil know. You think the devil no know? The devil know. And I might if you test that I say, see boy, I know. Remember, you know, I him in your place, I him in your face, I him a body top, I him a say, him want to take your on. And then him don't want to take your on, but him, him can't take your on. So without the unbridled discipline, more than react and become the aggressor. And then right now, more than fear, go through a whole heap of paperwork and change and lock up on one whole heap of unnecessary thing. Because of the self-restraint, the self-discipline. 
and the cognizance say so irrespective of the level of these people are still my people them, you know. All when them filthy. Still my people them. Whether I like it or not. All when them evil us. It is still my people. The other thing I can do is chant for them. I make the most I search them. And if I find them wanting, then we can fix them. So we have to pray for them. That's all we can do. And a thing I'm find interesting is when the people them are behave so inappropriately. People, public people out there. Everything is on camera. Everything is on record. And I'm quite sure the hundred man police station up some of them recording them. I'm sure of it. But it's unbeknownst to the dumb people eh, that show them bad. Better than everything and then very Father, where me, the also thing says I look a good man, but look like people spoil him up. Now, if you say my work, you know, in a disguise, a really criminal in a disguise, I them wear them if I look at him. Because I see the work where him do as a trade man, and he's incompetent. I wouldn't give him nothing for work, man, and I wouldn't recommend him. But you say, why them behave so bad is because this very same man. It's like a fan fixing, fridge fixing man. We have a lot of children and one of them big son of police. That's why the little lady is so bad. I don't know why when people have police, not them family, them beefs. I don't think of everybody. Because I know people have all kind of service members that them family and the people them proper like, wow. But I think I when the, 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 the police were in you know, them, you know, them family, a criminal, them go on real bad. Are the very son a criminal. And the very son we are police, other police would have to lock him up and put him through the rings. And even I still have show sympathy. I said, Yeah, no. I hope him get a road and wise up and do the right thing. And I'm quite sure that the man I do. Uh, the moment you make a mistake and get a chance to correct your mistake, he's a smart man when you correct your mistake. And I know everybody fool fool like them fathers. Sometimes you have some father when that's why I say I do not want to be an old fool. I don't want to be an old fool. That's why I make me not mingle with loose people. You understand? And that's why I don't carry myself in a way if anybody can talk about me and feel like say boy them can go in a court and validate any kind of claim. Period. And this is why I know me and a criminal. Yeah, man, irrespective of what people may think. We might not be as polished as most people would like us to be. You understand? Now we might not speak in our way where, you know, they would have said, yeah, man, college boy that, you know, we can work with him. No. We just come natural as how it is. Grassroot as how it is. With our truth, that is it. Yeah, man, now when a Ram Felix shot out there, Everybody know that. We, we, we just clap it up out there. And when we talk like this, a figure of speech. So we lick some shot away. You know? Burn some fire. You know? We chant them down out there. You know? Yeah. We clap it up out there. Yeah, man. But not get it twisted and feel like, say, you know? We're not aware of what going on about you. And how it really is about you. Yeah, man. Now we know that. Evil will exist, and it then a lot of people, and usually, are some people will look upon others and get envious. I can't stop the gratitude, complete gratitude. I can't stop give thanks to the most I create of nature. Yeah, man, car. I have a woman in my life, my life partner. Where when I say. It's like an angel amongst us. Uh, I never meet nobody with so much love. I mean, I talk love for me. Me, I talk love for everybody. I never met a woman. I know a woman where really stay away, but never like that. This woman love, this woman love her, her, her brother and sister, them like how she love her own children. Literally. And it's not just them, it's everybody. I said, this lady I give to so much people, ask me if you smile, and I said, boy, you're really an angel. You can't talk to my lady. 
in a rough course too. Me can't do it. Gosh, I'm not she that, I'm not world that. You understand? And it's not like my lady, a softy or anything. No, that is just not a world. That's why I'm saying, watch it, man. My lady, this. I mean, no, no man in the earth or outside of the earth can't tell me how to love my lady, love my woman. No man inside of the earth or outside of the earth can't tell me how to treat my lady, how to treat my woman. When I say my woman not go out the road with fear of vehicle dirty, and that mean me. I don't have no obligation for none of these things. Me know say it is my duty to do these things. I don't have to be a man inside of the house and my lady prepare meal and honor me, wash up the plate them and wash up the pot them and make sure the stove clean and all the garbage is outside and the garbage pack and neat. That is my duty. If I live in a house with my daughters and my daughters grown and them a drive and I go out in a car and them have them husband with them are the same way me have to make sure all of my ladies them them vehicles proper. I wash that every day and who don't like it, bite it. This is why I say you can't live amongst the lower class people and God them not have no kind of standard. When me can hug up my lady and say, Jano, put in a work and have a little chum change and say, see a hundred thousand a baby and put that away there. Baby would just smile and say, okay. And that is it. And because you don't know people business. And because you don't have some mini mouse man when I treat you not good. You don't envy a people. And this is all the problem with our people. If we pay attention to the situation at hand, we may accomplish something. But one thing I give thanks for. The moment you come around people who is intelligent enough, we can communicate. You'll never have a problem with those kind of people. Irrespective of their social condition, the moment you can communicate with ones and ones, you know, problem. Yeah, man. Because you go over one where I say, yo, I never know, so I saw the things to you. I'm, I'm glad you tell me, and a man just start improve. Just like how if me and I know a thing and a man share it with me, and I'm now become enlightened. Now me I improve, I just celebrate and give thanks. Complete gratitude. Out it in a space, so the devil loose out there. And remember, me telling you, not even I, I am not immune. The devil will love test me. I don't have a problem with that. Quite aware of that. But I love when I pass the test them with flying colors. Because I tell you, the dumb people, I'm not realize that a whole heap of police living in the community. I write in our section. If you never know, we camera down. All when uno no see camera, camera is there. You get me? And everybody have tinted window. Where them can stand up behind them tinted window and I look at you and I video you. You understand? But most people now wear of these things. So them carry and conduct themselves silly like you fit. You know? Be a lamb to a slaughter. Now get on a story wrong. People them should have make on a know say them man you save a lot of lives. Whole heap of lives. A lot of lives we save. And still I do it. Yeah man. Wanna not forget it twisted man. Yeah man. And we have to rise to this next level. And if I have to wipe on out and on a fear, wipe out I then we not get nowhere. Somebody have to shine light. Somebody have to tell the truth. Somebody have to stand up and speak. Simple that, you know. Yeah, man, now when every man look on what it is, and must say, oh, that's what it is, then it's nothing at all. Yeah, man, not the right. So let's do the right. I will move forward. That I will level, man. 
So we have to maintain with discipline. And the ones them are up on a much higher level where we really know the thing. Yeah, them have to maintain the unbridled discipline. Our phone journey, our our journey, and on a normal journey. And you got always an encounter the adversary. Yeah, man. And not unlike Job. You just rebuke the devil. Yeah, man. You just rebuke. The devil, easy. Send that Saddamite in its place. Easy. You rebuke the devil, man. But you stand your ground. Bold and brave, firm and strong. In truth, and with your same humility, you them are underestimate. You now leg of your humility, because so you, you, you maintain your integrity. And that's so how you maintain your dignity. Yeah, man. You have to rise to that next level. Why people, I must say, I got through the Charter of Fundamental Rights and Freedom Constitutional Amendment Act 2011. That specific document. And it is really intriguing as well as interesting, my people. And I think some of these news vloggers need to spend even a five or a ten minute and a read out certain part of it because them have the big platform and them have the, you know, big exposure. So the common people them can familiarize themselves with some of the things them that is there. You know what I mean? Like, them supposed to follow due process of law. Constitutional law. Not administrative law. Yeah, man, because the administrative law judge is separate and distinct from any superior court justice. Separate and distinct set of people. This is why them said these inferior courts are in fact not courts at all. You get me? I have to find a correct term for them. And I want to say, you know, I don't want to call them out a term. But I know say it's an agency. I know say them, you know, in an administrative capacity. Yeah, so it has to be some kind of administrative. We we'll find a term for it, opposed to us a court. It's not a court. You understand? Unless you are talking about a tennis court or a football court or some kind of, it's not a court. So all of these things are misrepresentation. God, the only court is the Supreme Court with the original jurisdiction down there in Kingston area. Yeah, man. So the mafia give us some disclosure so we can comprehend what one. So we can know how to carry and conduct ourselves appropriately. For these administrative law judge, so called. Specifically, in my case, this lady as a judge, so called, which she should be a fact finder or an umpire. But if she in an administrative capacity, then that's fine. But she's supposed to be impartial. She's not supposed to have come at the prosecutor's side. And this lady is supposed to have said to me, say, boy, this is what I go on. This is the, the reason why you're here. And the prosecutor over here, this is the prosecutor. Her name is such and such. And she has some things to say. And you know what I mean? I can object to what the prosecutor have to say. But that's no prosecutor, them only a pretend. And this is where, you know, me I say, what's going on? Because when you look through the constitution, it has said everything where this administrative area are the adverse to. When them say you're not supposed to abrogate, infringe, violate my body rights. And that's the fundamental rights and freedom. 
and adjust them right. Matter of fact, chapter 3, Fundamental Rights and Freedom, 13, subsection 1. The state has an obligation to promote universal respect and observation of human rights and freedoms. Now, let me talk about the very same human rights we are here internationally out there. So them supposed to respect human human rights and freedom naturally. And this senior sergeant of police from the Greater Portmore Police Station. I'm totally so I'm show him this document. I actually give him this document and him pretend to be reading it. And then just, you know, dismiss me like nothing at all. And that's just what I'm doing with the law itself. God, I'm a <laughs> perpetrate them color of law, which is that their administrative law, without full disclosure. And that is against the supreme law of the land, which is the constitutional law from which the very administrative legal system gets it, its authority. I wonder if I get what I say. Remember me not up there like that in a bridging. Remember me self-taught, you know, so I don't have to bear with me, you know. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> yeah, man. Number B says all persons in Jamaica are entitled to pres preserve for themselves and future generations. That means that you have to preserve this thing. The fundamental rights and freedoms to which they are entitled, listen carefully, by virtue of their inherent dignity as a person and as citizens of a free and democratic society. For your inherent dignity is being abrogated, abridged, and infringed upon by the very public authority who is there to secure this guaranteed contract. God, this specific document, chapter 3, this is called the the Bill of Rights. This is what is associated with the human rights. Most of what is in here, you're going to find on the human rights documentation. But for whatever reason, the corporate construct as is, by way of their silent deception and inducement by constructive fraud, Um, you know, sir, enslave the people and without the people's knowledge and without full disclosure to the people uh, the operation of its uh, the agency. Yeah. Yeah, mom. And again, we keep saying it to people, you know, and we keep saying it out here. Silent deception and inducement by fraud. Now I'm going to put the word constructive fraud. So you don't know what I'm going on. I tell us so the people and capture me. And just the notice of recognizance is evidence of that fraud. Why is it? Just look up on the document and, and, and read the document for yourself. Look if there is a so-called prisoner. Why am I a prisoner? What crime did you suspect me of? What is the reasonable suspicion? Because you're not going to answer me a drive without plates. You're not going to just look on my vehicle and say, oh, it not have no registration or it not have nothing like that. You can't do that. I may already established the fact that this governmental agency, in none of its capacity, can force no man nor woman to register 
or to enter or to engage in any kind of contract. We have to consent. And to consent meaning we have to agree. And this is why we say we do not agree. This is when we say I do not consent. Yeah, man. So all of the things them with the guru them say we not knock it enough. This is a phony thing. But we're not interested in participating with, with this unlawful system that is in place. Because if you're not charged with a criminal crime, what is the civil offense? What is it? You understand? Where is the underlying contract to stipulate my compelled performance or anything at all? Where is that contract? Present the contract. But them now go allow you to question them like this. So this is why you have to just make it simple, get direct, you know? Find out who and who and what is what, and then you just write paperwork and give paperwork to them. Paperwork from now till next year. You document all of these things, and then you publish it on the YouTube, and you publish it all over the internet, and you just, you know what I mean? You publish it in the National Gazette. Yeah, man, when you take it off of the public record, of the Gazette it forgot on. My people. I'm telling you, you know. Your freedom not necessarily will be free. And usually the man them will have the resource. You just said the rich people them, them not have an interest in being free. You comprehend? You get it? It's always the righteous. We are said, irrespective of how much money you know about it. Me I try to make one know, say, watch ya. Me not have interest in that one who I want deal with. You know, leave me alone. I am not for sale. I cannot be bought or sold like a commodity. But that is just me. This is why I make them stand here and say, I choose to be free. And any contract, I read just a little bit, and I write just a little bit, so I can formulate my own contract. I can make my own stipulation within my own contract. Understand? And this is just the subtle difference with I. I now ask permission from the guy. I say, present the law where I say, me cannot do this when me have your very agency policies and rules and guidelines and the supreme law of the land where I govern the land. We say, you cannot abridge, infringe. You cannot abrogate the people's fundamental rights and freedoms, which is guaranteed by this document, which was ascended by the Governor General in 2011. Just them grounds that me attack, you know. And listen, when me attack, Uno, we are criminal out there. Nobody feel like when me attack, but apply to Uno, it cannot. Because the moment you are engaged in a criminality, you are outside of where you hear me talk about. This is why I can't be a criminal. Because if I got engaged in a criminality, then it's like I throw all of what I talk about as being a free man, as being a righteous man. I already make a know that boy, all crimes are commercial in nature. It's all business out there. I'm mean, going to choose to engage in a, in a criminal affairs. So I, mean, I'm, I can't be a criminal. I won't be a criminal out there. I'm telling you these things. I say, run my record. And when I look over America, there are some civil case, I say. And I say, oh, must some money thing. And I ask the question, and I say, why did not publish the case, man? But I have to go bring up the documents from I have when I have them time and read out some of it. Because I like them establish why the, the federal government would have find interest in me. Because I'm not going to find that interesting. 
you understand? And why if them arrest me, then them have to release me and whatever moral turpitude where I might have a charge me for, then that would be enough to get me deported. However, I was never deported. You understand? So all them things that would be interesting for manifest and why would an attorney state on record say them could never have a you know represented a man such as me in 2001 so them start practicing law in 2003 why would an attorney state such a thing on record and these are the, the subtlety we, we have to look at after a while and you know ask for a review I was supposed to can ask for a review irrespective of the time. Because if there is fraud somewhere along the line, then everything is, you know, vitiated. Yeah, man. And then, you know, we understand why we're not really petty. Then, you know, comprehend why we're not, you know, as common as one may think. And then, you know, I go comprehend why we're not run down the money like how uno run it down and we view money different. The amount of people we share with in our community. I show them are good people and I talk about it. The amount of women we can say, yeah man, them man they give me a strength. I mean I ask them women they feel absolutely nothing at all. And the same thing with man. No strength. I mean never tell a man say, yo, God, go do anything we wrong out there to the next man. That's how we stay in our community. But it's not loud. But one of us do the research, do the check. A man, we easily say, yo, I'm there, I'm broke, and nothing not going on. When I look, a king man, I pass through and heal me, and the man that's left a strength with me, that's, you know? Now, for call back the man, and I say, and them, and I think for say I'm broke, uh, it's nothing like that. Our nature, this is how my grandmother was. This is how my mother is. Yeah, man, we always a share and always a give. All we're not the last, we give it away. I uh, would have be surprised to see some people but more time them just down for that moment and I like them always down working people and a, and a proper working woman would just pull up on me quietly and ask for your strength I remember one of these ladies asked for your strength and when I dip in my pocket I just a couple hundred dollars and some change and when I give to the lady my, even I feel awake, it was like about a couple of days before I got spend a much amount thousand dollars on public record. You understand? So now because people me low in a state are poor, no. You have some people who are just, you know, just naturally out of order. They are just serpent seed and all you have to do is run them background. Going to all the communities where they have lived look before. And you're going to hear people talk about them. I don't want that for myself. More at least when I leave this community, a man can say, boy, at least if the rest of the day, the place would have clean up. A man say, yo, if sovereign man did the day, the place would have clean At least that. God, there's not much else to talk about. Yeah, man, come tell us uh, we standard is very high, but these people are clueless. And now I'm going to know it. We maintain a high standard, man. Yeah, man, and the women where we keep. And now, when, we, when I'm going to engage any kind of woman, they must be touched by the most side for me, even really find interest in them. I remember when my day I hold my heart and I smile at them. When women are throw themselves at me, all I do is smile and just tell myself, say, so the moment I can resist this woman, I'll just resist her. And I resist a plethora of them out there. Some of them might feel a way and, and I like my hurt nobody feeling. But you said two people don't know the you know unbridled discipline where you choose to maintain and entertain them clueless. How can they know these things? You know what I mean? When they're not up on the level. Yeah, man. So when some lunatic of unsound mind are going to speak out there, 
I tell you now already, you know, if I'm going to say anything to me or about me or pertaining to when I deal with them, once it's rebutted, I'm on we rebut it. And if something were me for learn, then my humble and say thank you, gratitude, I never know, I'm going to learn and now I'm going to fix it. You know what I mean? I have a problem I step up on my ego. That's why this woman can behave so inappropriate and it never affect me. Not in the least. Because I have my beautiful wife upstairs. Not downstairs. Upstairs. I live in a big house. So them say, I'm going to show you know, I've lived in much bigger. <laughs> but these are common people now. I know it. Them just think, so show you there with them. You and them are the same. And through you talk to them at one point or some point, them figure say, you know, you and them have something in common. It not go like that. When a Sunday evening come on, I man and I wife he choose to sit down and watch a play. And I man laugh till I belly button drop out. Most of these people now go do that, even when they know about it. They now go take interest in that. They have to string up a jukebox, sound system with some liquor. That's what got interest these people. Them now go to a play. For what? Them now want to laugh. <laughs> and that's the difference with I. I tell you, I say, I sophistication is I humility. You know? Yeah, man. And I humility is I sophistication. But you want to say with them on so no more time and you know, we always show the love that on a level where you know just run in and feel like, yeah, we are the same. But no, I just love. So I wanna feel it, I know so on our people. We know that. And we know on the same one we destroy. We the righteous. We have full of best interests at heart. Uno same one. Uno filthy ones out there. Uno we destroy the righteous. But that is only if the righteous stoop the phone level. Mindle with Uno. And we don't do that. This is why Uno always a fear look up at us. And I look at us. And we just turn our back. That's all we do now. We just turn our back. Yeah, man. Our unbridled discipline. Or what we choose to entertain. Or we choose to nurture and practice. Don't get it twisted, man. Yeah, man. We have enough love for everyone. And the fire, they are the same way. Yeah, man. I hear what we say, you know, earthquake, lightning, and thunder. And your brain, like the island water that is within your veil in this judgment. Yeah, man. This is how we deal with the wicked out Word, sound, and power. Give thanks and praise to the Most High, creator of nature. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Out there, free people. Active. Yeah, man. Active. Yeah, man. Active. Brave art. Salute out there. Yeah, man. Firm and strong out there. It's like a situation. This is why I talk about the unbridled discipline. It's like the entertainer out there where, you know, I be a problem and thing. And me I say, when I say all a situation there, all me in that community, would I say to the entertainer, say, yo, what you say happen? A such man and such man and your mom, then member say, you know, a big people them in a bridging. So you know about a running like a little boy I want to take a big people thing. I remember even their life you know, live so close, probably at the end of one of the man them will grow you too. So more than quick for disrespect the elder, more than quick for mother even and say, yo, what's going on with your mom and you know, and even if the elder run me away as a little boy and this me and thing, me have to laugh and say it publicly too. So remember you grow my man and no disrespect man, but me know I'm me now get involved in a big people business. That's that, that the first thing that mother said. Uh, once I'm my mother and the next big man and everybody are big people for me. 
the first thing that I care what kind of power I feel like me. What I feel say, watch ya. I now get involved in a big people business and all I will laugh at it. And all when my mother you know, and then I just talk to mommy and say, Mommy, I want go on. And mommy explained to me, and I probably can't talk to my, my uncle next door or my, you know, the big man, one of the big man will grow me in the community and say, Dada, what go on? And that I got probably all mad and I tell me this and that and I say, all right, Dada, when you cool down again, we can't talk, man. I say, Mama, no worry, you know, say, I saw Dada, you know, I'm just cool it down. And that me would have done. All when I hack then. God, this is why we talk about the unbridled discipline, you know. This is when you discipline yourself, you know, say, all when you're mad, you know, and feel mean, you know. It's still a fair check, you know. And I'm going experience bring that. Because you don't want to be the aggressor, you know. Like a you are the man where you so, you know what I mean? Because it should not be that way. You know what I mean? But if a man has to come and abuse you, then you have all right to, you know, protect and preserve yourself. Yeah, you can't, you, 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 no man can't escape that. And when you can't preserve and protect yourself, you run like crazy or you move away, you know? So I'm not going to say call police for defending you, because the police won't be able to defend around you every day. Well, you hear the man them say, I'm going to see it up, you really can't trust out there. You understand? So I'm going to tell you, say, these people, we are bad people. For them, son of police, We're in a problem, so this is why they're bad. So you now okay, I'm go down to the police station and because probably I want to police friend them that. And you know, friend, you can make a complaint, a man say, yo, them money, I call up your name, and blah, 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 I'll be a problem again. That's why I'm glad me have a platform, you know, it's like therapy. When I can come out and turn on my platform and just charm. It's like therapy. Truly. And we do give thanks. Yeah, man. We do give thanks. Anyway, out there, free people. The brave may fall, but never yield. We say bold and brave, firm and strong. A walk by society in their nation in America. That's us. Free people. Yeah, man. Free people. We are here before any agency or their agents. Yeah, but you know how it is. Them are going to deny all of these things and tell us that they are the true and living God. They who are the government with authority. They are the true and living God. That's what they will tell you. And most of our people believe it. I am here to rebut it. Yeah, man. Truly, respectfully, rebut those presumptions. Gratitude out there, subscriber. Gratitude, free people. Information share, philosophical reasoning. When them ask me what kind of work me do, boy, me I tell you say me no say disappoint them, say man. Cause when them see me, them just feel like me is one of them man. They will just sit down and just smoke all day and looking at the ear. Well, so the moment them can talk to me, that's when them are going to discover the level of the effort in which we apply ourselves to at least appear intelligent, at least in our appearance, if I even that. You understand? And this is where they disappoint some of these lower mentality people, the people them where function on the lower level. Yeah, them don't know nothing about love, them don't go know loss. When me and my life partner a whole and and a walk through the community, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah, man, when we greet my lady, it's always a warm embrace. And you know, it's a wonderful thing. But for the adversarial spirit, for some people wanna live that way. Them find it problematic. And the sad thing about it, you know. Them are not homeowner. So we know say one of the days them are gonna find new place and fly away like a bird. This is why we now have to worry night nor day. Yeah man, we just you know maintain 
with integrity. Yeah, man. Through this unbridled discipline. Maintain with dignity. Truly. Anyway. With us a chant today. But may I tell us uh, this constitutional document here. Yeah. I wish some of these vloggers would probably go through it and chant on it and even some of our get us a uh, constitutional lawyers here, even when they're not practicing attorney. But the righteous one them will know the truth. Yeah. Uh, Chief Judge Justice Batts. The problem I'm find with 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 Sir David Box is that he is of the presumption that we are all African and African descent, and as such, no laws apply to us. And this is what I get from the book when I read. And this is why I'm telling us at the moment when I claim any kind of African ancestry, anything African, this is what gives the foreigners powers here. You understand? This is why the governmental agencies have to implement all kind of rules and regulation to satisfy their foreign masters, the one that may really own and control the agencies, all when it's governmental my people at a level yeah, my people are missed uh, may I tell us uh, we have information for decades in you know, a people I'm telling you, you know. yeah man philosophically the reason we don't know all day all day but again we have to say salute out there and always information, share, always gratitude. Again, knowledge over ignorance. Some are on a two dunce. That's why I'm stay in a trouble. That's why them get for branding up as criminal. It's so hard them have to work to try to criminalize me. I go and make them have to work harder than how them have work. You can't criminalize me because I'm no criminal. You can't use your politics and send your little political troublemakers because this is where these kerosene oils are. You know. All of them affiliated with the politicians, them, you know, some little councillors and some little people around the place. All kerosene. This is where you see them pass information and go on with themselves. You don't have to know, you don't know these things. And if you don't, you don't have to know these things. Yeah, man, that's why I'm saying, you know, like the woman that will upgrade themselves and carry themselves proper and call themselves ladies and you know carry and conduct themselves like that these things are rare on the island i'll tell you that much yeah man a rare you yeah, find the ladies man. some of them we have the appearance of such but that's all them out you understand <laughs> The ones that were truly, you know, genuine out there. What we would call clan mothers out there. Them are something else. Them are something extraordinary. Yeah. <laughs> Again, salute, I people. Freedom, freedom minion, freedom mean. Every man has the right to decide his own destiny. Every man have the right to self-identification. Every man and woman have the right to self-determination. Out there. 